So one of the control structures that is uh, available in all functional programming languages is the if structure. That says if something is true, go one way. If not, go the other way. Else, go the other way. Another control structure is a loop, something that goes around in circles, which is really important for programming. We're going to talk about one of those loops today, one of the, the statements that creates a loop. Let's have something just count from one to whatever number we want. So um, here's what the form looks like. How many should I count to? And you can put in any number you want there. Now let's look at how that form is created. Here's a regular um, PHP file as index.php. And you'll see that um, we have an, an if statement here. If there is data in the post, that is if something has been posted here, then do this. For now it just says here goes. In fact, let's try that. So we're going to put something in the post for and click go and it says here goes. Okay, that's all it's doing right now if there's anything in the post. If there's nothing in the post, remember post is what gets is kind of the envelope we send things in in a form, then go ahead and put a form there. So note here that the form is has an action of quote quote, so it's just going to come right back to here. But when it comes back the next time, it's going to do this part of the if because it's going to have something in the post. So in this particular case, we have the form being both the, the single file being both the, the pitch and the catch. We have the form if nothing's been entered in into the, the post yet. And if there is something in the post, then we go ahead and process it. So as I said right now, we're not processing anything, right? It just says here goes if there's something in the post. Let's actually do something with that data. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and start PHP up right away. I'm gonna create a new variable called x and I'm gonna set it equal to one. So that puts one in x. And then I'm gonna say that while, let's see if I can spell while, um, x, is less than or equal to post. And then down here we can see that we've called it target number. Target number, because we're gonna put a number in there and it's gonna come through as post target number. So while x is less than post target number, do the following. And we're gonna do three things. First, we're gonna echo x. So right now x is equal to one, right? So it goes through, is x less than, let's say we enter four like we have here. Is x less than four? Yes, so do the following things. First we're gonna echo a four, then let's go ahead and echo a, um, a break, an HTML break. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna increase x by one and we could do x equals x plus one, which basically takes whatever it is in, is in X and adds one, so we'd go to two. Or there's a shortcut, which is X plus plus. What that does is it just adds one to whatever's inside of X. And that's the end of our while loop. So just to understand what it'll do, it'll do X is equal to one. Is X less than four? Yes, so we're gonna echo a one, and then we're gonna echo a break, and then we're gonna make x equal to two, and then we're gonna go back to the beginning of the while statement. Now x is equal to two, is x is two less than four? Yes. So we're gonna echo a two, then a break, then make x into three. Is three less than four? Yes. So three break, make this into four. Is four less than or equal to f than um, four? Yes, four break, make this into five. Is five less than or equal to, to four? No, so it'll be all done, all right? So I'm going to save this, file save, I'm going to um, oops, upload it via FTP, and overwrite it, yes, and then I will um, go ahead and try it. And so we'll do four and hit go, and there it goes. In the loop it does one, two, a three, and then a four. Or if I do 499, it goes through that loop a lot more times and does 499 before it finally stops. Okay, so that's the basic of a loop and it's useful for more than just counting as we'll see.